guys. So today I thought I would film something a little bit different. Um, I haven't done this before. I haven't done this before. But I had an idea of a video and that is what I'm going to film right now. I have chosen all of my favourite drugstore products. So skincare, body care, makeup everything like a lot of people like to know what's in the drugstore that you can buy I mean like boots and super drug and obviously it's all like reasonably priced it's affordable and yeah I just thought I would tell you what my favorite products were and show you I've got like a box full of stuff that I found in my room that I love that is from the drugstore um so yeah I'm just gonna go straight in and I hope you enjoy this video I'm going to start off with skincare because I don't have very much skincare. The first thing is something that everyone's probably seen and it's the simple face wipes. Now these are the Kind Skin Cleansing Facial Wipes. These are just like, obviously it's not a good thing to use face wipes but every now and again you might be feeling a bit lazy or you might be staying overnight somewhere and you don't want to take obviously your whole skincare routine with you. So these are the best face wipes I've ever used, no, like no other face wipes I get along with as well as I do these and they're cheap, these, this is like the mini packet so they're like good for travelling or if you're staying somewhere and yes I just love these, these are like a staple that I have to have all of the time. Next skincare product is this, this is the Super Facialist by Una Brennan Tea Tree no, not tea tree, tea flower, deep cleansing, pore purifying clay mask. What? that was a mouthful. Okay, so this is a purifying face mask, um, obviously as it says in the title, and what I just read to you, oh hello, what's this? It's got a hole in the back, oh that's really weird, that's gross. It's like leaking out the back of the packet, that's so weird. Um, this is a very cheap face mask, well I think it's cheap. I don't know, I can't actually remember how much this is, but obviously it's not going to be a lot because it's like from Boots. Um, yeah, this is just a really good purifying face mask. It's not my favourite, but all of my favourite face masks are quite expensive. So this is like my favourite one that you can buy in a drugstore that is kind of cheap. Um, it does get slightly dirty, which is gross. But yeah, you basically put it on, wait for it to dry, clean it off and your face feels lovely. So this is really good. Next thing is something that just had to happen really and I had to show you because it's my favourite product ever and it's this, it's the Micellar, 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 I literally have no idea how you pronounce it, I think it's Micellar because that's how everyone says it, so I'm going to pronounce it like that. This is the Garnier Micellar Water, um, basically it removes makeup incredibly, it's so cheap, this is like £3 and it has 200 uses in it. And it's just incredible, like I literally have repurchased so many bottles of this. Um, it takes off your eye makeup without stinging your eyes, it takes off literally within like a few sweeps even if your makeup is really stubborn and I just love this and I'm going to forever repurchase. Okay, body care. First thing, again is something that I've shown in a recent video but these are my favourites so I'm going to have shown them before. It's the Original Source Vanilla and Raspberry Shower Gel. This stuff it's just the nicest smell in the whole entire universe, I swear. Like, it's so good. Like, the smell of it is just incredible. And if you haven't gone and smelt it yet, then you're in trouble because I told you to in my last video. So, you better go smell it because seriously, you're missing out. Next body care is this. This is a moisturiser. This is the Vaseline Spray and Go Body Moisturiser in the Cocoa Fragrance. This is a non-greasy moisturiser, so you, um, it's basic, it's in a spray bottle, so you'll spray it onto your skin and I don't know if you are supposed to massage it in, but I do, because if you just sprayed it, like it sprays on quite thick, so you do have to like rub it in. Um, oh, it's just really nice, like it's a really light moisture, so if you've got quite dry skin on your body, it probably won't be enough for you. Um, but I really like this fragrance because it smells like cocoa and I really like that smell. You can get it in the aloe and I think there's one more that's like a yellow one. But I don't really know what fragrance that is. But this is just a really good moisturiser. It's cheap, it does the job and it just like sinks in so quickly which I love. So you can like get dressed like straight away after applying this. Okay and the next thing is a tan. This is the Saint 
Moritz, St. Moritz, St. Moritz, I don't know, instant self tanning mousse in medium. This is a brand new bottle, but look, it leaks already. I don't know if you can see it, I like just cleaned it. This is the only thing about this tan, it leaks all in the top and it gets really disgusting. But this lasts for such a long time. I use this quite a lot, and my last bottle literally lasted about six months. I don't know if it's even meant to be open for that long, but. Oh, there we go, it can be open for six months. That's fine then. But yeah, this tan is really good. It is quite dark, but it does wash off. So if you like apply it, say, to like your legs and it looks too dark, if you like leave it overnight and then take a shower the next day and it kind of takes the excess off but leaves like a slight tan, so you're not left with like a really dark tan. I mean, I've got it on now on my arms and as you can see, I don't look very tanned, so it's not like a terrible tan that's gonna leave you looking bright orange because it just doesn't do that. Just forget that bit. Okay, hair care, I only have one product. Um, I don't do a lot with my hair, as I've said in like previous videos, I literally just wash it, straighten it, or do whatever I'm doing with it. I don't really use any like treatments on it. Obviously I use heat protection spray before I straighten it or apply heat to it. Um, and I use the Philip Kingsley Elasticizer, um, and that is all. But the hair care product that I like from the drugstore is the Batiste. That's my mum texting me. Ah, oh, well, my mum and dad are boarding the plane to go to Rome, so I'm slightly jealous. I'm just sat here in shitty England, and they are on their way to Rome, so have fun, mum and dad, even though you're not watching this, but, you know. The Batiste dry shampoo because although some people might think dry shampoo is kind of gross because it's like instead of washing your hair it just is like a life saviour like literally if your hair's looking slightly greasy in the morning and you're like oh, I don't have time to wash it you can literally just spray this in and yeah well we all know what dry shampoo is but I just you know, just thought it. But yeah this flavour scent whatever the cherry one is my favourite one and Yes, I, oh shit, I love this a lot and it's going in this video. Okay, makeup, 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 makeup. Everything I have left now is makeup and I have a lot of it. Okay, first two things are the MUA, if I can put them the right way around. The MUA palettes, these are incredible. They are literally, I've said it before, but they are dupes of the Naked one and two palette if you lay them side by side with the actual naked palettes every color is identical and they're in the same order so i literally i can't fault these apart from the packaging is rubbish mine's broken so it doesn't even do up anymore um they get slightly messy but you know that's fine we can deal with that i knew i couldn't look after myself my mum just had to remind me to defrost some bread to make my lunch I forgot. <laughs> um, yeah, so these two palettes are, I think, around three or four pounds each. It's literally like so cheap, and the colours stay on all day. They're really pigmented, and I literally cannot fault these. So if you don't have these, go get them because they're great. I've got two mascaras that are probably my favourite two from the drugstore. First one is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express, just this blue one that you've probably seen about a million times. It's just great. It makes your eyelashes look great. I just don't really have any faults like with it. It's just really lovely mascara and it's going all over my legs. It's just a really nice mascara and I love it lots. And the second one is the Falsify Lash Effect by Seventeen. Now I don't... Um... What was I saying? I don't hear a lot about this mascara and I don't understand why. I first saw it in a magazine because Millie McIntosh recommended it so I thought well gotta give that one a go. Um, but yeah like it's never really talked about on blogs and things like that so I thought I'd mention it because it is a really good mascara and it doesn't get enough credit for how good it is like it is seriously a really good mascara. Okay so for foundations my favourite ones from Boots slash Superdrug are the Bourjois Healthy Mix ones. So you have the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation and the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. Um, 
These both are really, really, really good. The only difference is the serum is a lot lighter and the foundation gives a bit more coverage. Um, but apart from that, they are pretty much the same and I love them both. I think these are like the best ones you can get in the drugstore and they're both really cheap as well. Okay, concealer, I think we can all guess exactly what I'm going to say. And if you can't, then you haven't watched enough of my videos, I'm afraid. Um, it's the Lasting Perfection concealer from Collection. Um, it gets grotty and it doesn't actually last that long. But all in all, it is the best concealer you can buy in Boots or Superdrug. And if you don't agree with me, then you're lying because you know it is. You just don't want to admit it because it's seriously so good. I now have a powder. Now, I struggled trying to find a powder that I could talk about in this video because my all-time favourite powder is my MAC powder and obviously that's not drugstore, it's not cheap, so that's not for this video. So I have chosen the Rimmel Clear Complexion Clarifying Powder. This is basically like a um, translucent powder. Um, it's pretty good, like it does the job, it mattifies your face. I just, I don't know why, I just prefer my MAC one. But if, like, you know, this is my favourite one from the drugstore. The Stay Matte Powder is also quite good. Um, I prefer like a compressed powder rather than a loose powder, so I definitely go for these ones. But yeah, I'm running out of things now. The next thing is this. Now this is the Bourjois Bronzing Powder, the chocolate one that probably everyone has seen and talked about, but there's a reason why everyone has seen it and talked about it because it's so good. They have recently brought out the one that is half highlighter, half chocolate. I also have that one. I just pick this one up instead to mention. I don't know why they're both good. Um, but yes, this is just a really good bronzer. It's cheap. It's really good. <laughs> so I just saying everything's good and I sound stupid. Um, yeah, it, oh, it's upside down. <laughs> I'm failing today at everything. I've got pins and needles in my foot. Okay. It isn't too dark, so Oh, I don't even know what I'm saying about this powder. I just like it, okay? It's a good bronzer. I like it. I don't know what else to say. I'm losing my mind. I'm not going to show that because I don't actually like it. <laughs> oh. oh, I forgot to show this with eyes. Okay, I have an eyeliner, which I should have shown when I showed the eyes, but, you know. This is the L'Oreal Super Liner Black Buster. And this is, like, the only liquid eyeliner I ever use because it's so good. It basically is a pen, like a felt tip eyeliner. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, it's like perfect size. It stays on all day, it literally doesn't smudge. Um, you can do all kinds of looks with it and I'm pretty sure this is quite cheap as well. And I've had this for such a long time and it hasn't dried out yet, which is really impressive. So yes, I love this, this is my fave eyeliner. A lip gloss. Okay, I have a lip gloss. This um, is the Barry M lip gloss, and I never know what colour this is, because it doesn't actually say a colour on it. But it's like a pinky, sparkly one, and I got this for free when I went to Clove's show live in Birmingham. Um, and this is like the only lip gloss I ever wear, because I just, I'm not really a lip gloss gal. I'm more of a lipstick kind of girl. Girl, gal, I don't really know what I'm saying. Oh, that looks really weird. I don't really wear lip gloss, but if I do, I go for this. It's a really nice consistency. It's not too thick, it's not too thin. It stays on for a really long time. And it's hydrating, it's not like a drying out lip gloss. And yeah, I just really like it. It's just a nice neutral colour. You can wear it with like everything, any kind of makeup it goes with. So it's a good one. The lipsticks are the Kate Moss lipsticks. These are the Rimmel Kate Moss lipsticks. I have the colour 107, which is like the staple colour that everybody has and if I'm ever wearing like a ready purpley kind of colour it is always this one because it's my favourite lipstick ever. And the other one, I don't really know why I'm showing this because I've literally never worn this in my life. I brought it as like a spare of the moment kind of thing and I really regret it. It's like a horrendous purple, like a really dark purple. I guess if I was like dressing up for something I might wear it. But I'm not going to wear that every day. Like, that is not an everyday colour. But I have it. And, yes, these Kate Moss lipsticks come in loads of other colours. I haven't actually got any. Um, 
but I will because I really like these. So these are the best lipsticks. I think I've been saying lip gloss. I meant lipstick. Okay, I thought that was everything, but I've just remembered another thing. So let me just go grab it. Okay, lastly, I have some nail varnishes, and I think everyone's going to be able to guess what these are. It's the Barry M nail varnishes. Now, I have loads of different ones. Um, a few of my favourite ones are... I really like the jelly ones. So I've got like a pale pink jelly one. This is in the colour Rose Hip. Um, and then I have like the old school, just like original ones. I've got like a pink one, which is in the colour bright pink. I've got like the blue, which is turquoise. And then I've got this one, which is I think a newish one. And it's called Blue Moon. And it's like a really nice pastel blue colour. I love that. And then I've got a few matte ones, which I don't know what my thoughts are on this but this is called vanilla and yeah I don't know so they dry like matte so they're not glossy and yeah I don't know hmm I'm I need to like try them out a little bit more but I literally have probably over like 30 Barry M nail varnishes I just think they're such a good formula they don't really chip that much if you kind of do like a base coat and a top coat and I just think they have like the best colour range and the packaging of them just looks nice and I love them, I have a really itchy upper lip. Okay, so they were all of my drugstore favourites. I um, hope you enjoyed this video, I quite enjoyed making it. I think I might do a high-end beauty favourites, so if you think that's a good idea, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will film that at some point in the future. I'm also going to be filming a room tour um, at some point soon, hopefully. I'm going to do... Um, a few kind of like chatty get to know me videos and some more tutorials hopefully and just like loads more videos which I've got planned. I'm going back to college like next week though so I'm not going to have as much time as I've had recently but I will try my very best to fit in making videos for you because I'm really enjoying it at the moment. Um, I actually wrote a blog post this morning which is this one in the background here um, and yes it would mean the world to me if you went and checked that out and just had a little read because I've been posting quite a lot on my blog um, recently and yes that would be cool. So I'm starting to lose my voice so I'm going to go but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed I think I've already said this but you know I just want you to enjoy it. Um, leave any video suggestions give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new hello thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!